In the last 60 years, plastic has become indispensable in the manufacturing industry. This thing was built to last, and it has. In fact, it has spread so far that it may be found practically anywhere on Earth. That includes within our own bodies. Sadly, we have not yet been able to successfully identify a less polluted substitute for plastic. But what if I told you that something as green and basic as seaweed might hold the key to ending the plastic crisis? Is it possible that seaweed may replace plastic in the near future? Let's dive in. The pillars of our consumerist culture are made of plastic that can withstand the test of time. But those plastic pillars are slowly turning into a liquid base, aka our oceans. However, plastic debris is not restricted to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Microplastics have been detected at extreme depths and altitudes, including at the top of Mount Everest and in the Mariana Trench. If that weren't disturbing enough, in March of last year, researchers discovered them for the first time in human blood. Scientists are concerned that microscopic plastic particles can enter the bloodstream and disrupt normal functioning of important organs. You might ask now, but aren't we recycling plastic already? The answer is yes, we do. Most of the plastic we use is recyclable, but it's not worth the cost to do so. So what's next? A possible solution is to introduce bacteria to plastic. The scientists discover new microorganisms that thrive on polyethylene terephthalate, PET. They are able to disassemble it into its component parts, terephthalate, TPA, and ethylene glycol, EG. But the procedure only makes sense if the components that are being discarded can be put to good use. In contrast to EG, which has been used as an automobile antifreeze for decades, TPA was previously ineffective, till very recently. A few months ago, scientists then discovered the formula for an enzyme that devours TPA. The development of enzymes for industrial use is progressing steadily. French firm Carbios is expanding its enzymatic PET recycling operations. Carbios and Indorama Ventures have been working together since February of last year to construct the first industrial-scale PET biorecycling plant in the world. Enzymes produced can then degrade the equivalent of 2 billion PET bottles annually. They say their method can reliably and repeatedly upcycle PET compounds into new PET products of some of the same high quality and recycling rate. I can't speak about the effectiveness of the enzymes, but otherwise, that sounds like a much better diet for Earth than what we are currently providing. Microorganisms that digest plastic aren't the only options. The fungus is another. Since 2006, Ecovative has been developing fungi-based foams that are more environmentally friendly, cost less, and might even taste good. The manufacturing of these goods has increased dramatically since they use less energy, 12% and leave less of a carbon footprint, 90%, than other conventional goods. Another option is seaweed. There are two major reasons why seaweed could be a good candidate to supplant plastic. First, its sourcing is more sustainable. When you compare it to terrestrial plants, seaweed grows 10 times faster, consumes less water, and takes up less than 10% of the land those crops need. Also, converting land-based plants into plastic-free utensils will bite into our food production. Instead, seaweed won't pose any food security risk. Seaweed contains an oily substance fraction that could work just like a petroleum-derived one. There are a bunch of startups that have recognized seaweed's potential and are now trying to surf its slimy wave. After raising $1.3 million in last September, an Australian startup has begun converting seaweed into biopolymers, specifically polyhydroxyalkanoates, PHAs. They claim that their products are just as durable as plastic. Their products are completely biodegradable, even in the deepest, coldest parts of the ocean. PHAs have been found to degrade completely in about two months in a laboratory setting, which is a huge improvement over regular plastic, which can persist for centuries in the worst case. Once the harvested seaweed arrives in their lab, it is first processed into its bio bricks, including sugars, which are extracted and put into a tank containing bacteria to ferment. Glucose from corn is the usual feedstock for PHA production, but since corn requires a lot of water and area to cultivate, using seaweed instead might have a positive environmental impact. To the contrary, all that is required for ULUU to thrive is some seawater and some bacteria. And since seaweed uses CO2 as a growth factor, their product would actually be carbon negative. Packaging foams, boxes, and films would all benefit from PHAs. Another startup that is ready to ride the seaweed wave is Notpla. They brought energy drinks in edible seaweed pouches to the London Marathon. 
Over 40,000 runners used Uhu capsules to stay hydrated, which meant that 200,000 disposable water bottles could be recycled instead of added to landfills. The goal of Notpla is to eliminate the need for packaging altogether. What is the key to their success? Using a custom-built machine, their research team blends brown seaweed with other plants to produce edible membranes. No one is obligated to eat a membrane, no matter how appetizing it may seem, but you certainly can if you want to. When placed in a compost bin or outside, they will be gone in under a month. Seaweed is clearly a material with great potential to replace plastic permanently. Remember, nevertheless, that algae-based products are still in their infancy when compared to the mature plastic benchmark, whose production has been optimized over the course of the last six decades. Price-wise, seaweed packaging is still higher than its plastic cousin, because it is yet a relatively untapped market. Cost estimates for producing one ton of edible film range from $3,000 to $3,600. Due to the high cost of production, Notpla packaging and its competitors may not expand as rapidly during the next six years. However, some analysts predict that as more manufacturers enter the market, the price of seaweed wrapping will fall. Though algae-based packaging has the advantage of being environmentally friendly, it may not be as strong or durable as conventional plastic. Consider the Notpla capsules that can be swallowed. The convenience of the sachets is matched only by the risk that they will break during transport. It is anticipated that the market for seaweed packaging will grow at a rate of 16% over the next five years, spurred on by plastic prohibitions. However, seaweed probably won't be able to meet our demand for eco-friendly packaging on its own. I personally don't think we will find a single solution to our plastic problem, and I strongly believe that if we work enough to implement new biodegradable plastics, and also try to use as little plastic as possible, we can actually make a difference. The important step is to be aware of our effect on Mother Nature, and to start with small steps to educate ourselves about the importance of our environment. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.